Good evening everybody. We've decided today to come to Villa Martin. It's a beautiful evening. We're going to have a look around the plaza, have something to eat and we'll show you what's new. Now Villa Martin has been here on the Costa Blanca for at least 25 years that we can remember. Over the years it's gone downhill but people have put a lot of money into making Villa Martin Plaza back to what it is today. We'll show you around. <laughs> Here at Villa Martin Plaza, we're going to start on the top floor, see what's new, see what's gone, see what's interesting. So Eduardo's is still here, although it is closed. And if you ever watch the Only Way is Essex program, you'll know Elliot Wright. It's his family's restaurant, but it's shut for the moment. Fairways is still here. You can get a lovely Sunday lunch here. They're closed tonight, but I'm pretty sure they are open at the weekend. Got Shemmy's just here if you want a place to come and enjoy the football. And tables are booked up for tonight, which is great. They've got the flags up. Very patriotic. Over on this side, we've got the hub gin and fizz and I think it's the tavern on the end all doing well people outside having drinks enjoying themselves let's take a look so this is gin and fizz it's currently up for sale it's a turnkey business so if you're interested make sure you get in touch with them it's a very nice bar actually this is the tavern always a good place to watch the football still going strong as it's been here for so many years and lastly we've got Gatsby on the right Okay, the sun is still out. We're going to go down to the lower level now, see what's around here. All right, you've got the Copper Chimney, an Indian restaurant down here on the bottom. So this metal frame structure right in front of me, this is actually a stage in the summertime. And Scott and I, we've actually played here over the summers and it's an amazing atmosphere here. Everyone is watching from the terraces, from their seats, and it's just so good. So there's a block of offices just here where you can get insurances and also if you're going to organise your wedding, Lindy Lou's is in there as well so you can go and organise that. So a place that's been here for many years is Shea Argentinian. So this is Shandon Bells and I don't think it's closed down but it's not open at the moment. Okay, this is new to us, Sophie's Healthy Food. And there's more seating if you go through there. There's another outside area. And right opposite Sophie's Health Food is a bit of a play park for the kids, excellent. Keep them busy. Lots of pool tables, air hockey. I've just spotted a 5D cinema. Here we go, it's not open at the moment, but yeah, I've got the Portobello Kitchen and Fox on the Fairway. I don't think they're closed down, which is good. I just think they're closed for now. So here's the 5D cinema. There is also a supermarket at the Villa Martin Plaza, taxi rank, lots of parking, and also you've got the hop scooters. So if you want to get about locally on a little scooter, you've got them parked outside. So we've decided before dinner, we're going to come back upstairs to Gin and Fizz to have a little drinky poo. and a strongbow at Gin and Fizz and we've asked for the bill but we can't believe the price. Look at this. So my carver was four euros and the strongbow was one euro and I said is that right? She's like yep trying to get people in so if you want to come to Gin and Fizz this is the place to be. So where we are heading for tea is called the Hen's Teeth. It's this place here. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a sec. So we're here at the Hen's Teeth and we saw on Facebook they're doing a vegan platter and we're big meat eaters we love our meat but we have a conscience 
So we're gonna try the vegan platter. We saw it on Facebook, it looks amazing. Now our servers are lovely, we've met them before, but they have just told us about a no-named cocktail. So if you come up with a name, you gotta let them know, because you might be able to name this cocktail. So it basically consists of, so it was a JB whiskey, which is orange and oregano, with cucumber and lemon and lemonade. And that sounds insane. I'm about to try that one. I ordered the no-name cocktail, and it's common in tiki glass, like, oh my gosh, I love these glasses. It smells of cucumber, obviously. Let's have a taste. I think you would like that. Yeah. Scott isn't even a cucumber fan. No, I don't I like, like that. I don't like cucumber. It's really fresh yeah. and like light can and not overly sweet. Can you taste the oregano? I can't. Taste the whiskey. But it's not overly cucumbery or too much of one thing, is it? It's really nice. Yeah, you say it really, really fresh. Yeah, delicious. Nice. Now this is the share that we're gonna go for. But it's not just vegan food here. The fact that they do vegan food is amazing. But they do loads of like, burgers, steaks, and fish here. We've been here many a time before and enjoyed it. But we wanted to try the vegan food. So they just brought out some bread and vegan ali oli. I'm very intrigued. I'm gonna try this, see if I would know the difference. It looks delicious. I actually wouldn't know the difference. They put some cilantro in it, and you can really taste that. It's really nice flavour, actually. It smells good. Yeah, do you want to try some? Well, will it smell good later when it's garlic on my bread? Wow. <laughs> At least it will smell the same. No comment. <laughs> when I eat the last bit of bread. Well, go on then. I don't want to ruin the moon. No, I'm excited. Oh my lord, this looks absolutely humongous. So you get all of this for 22.90? I think so. Around 22 euros. So basically, this is available from 4 till 7 p.m. Just because it takes up a lot of space in their kitchen. They've got a small kitchen, they'll do everything fresh, so it takes a bit of time. We're here at 8 p.m., but I messaged ahead. So I'm sure if you message ahead, see if they're available after seven, I'm sure they can do that for you. Just give them a message. Let me show you what's on the board. So we've got vegan burgers down here at the front. We've got some rice, some satsiki. This is aubergine, and I think that's what I can smell. It smells amazing. We've got some carrot fries, salad, and cucumber underneath. This is vegan kebab and chili sin carne, which means chili without meat. And some roasted on the vine tomatoes. So like I said, we're not vegans. We're not vegetarians either. But if we can do it once a week, it's better than nothing. It's a start. It's a start. Should we dig in? Yeah. So anybody that knows us knows that Scott's the Burger King. So that's what he's gone straight for, first off. What's he saying? <laughs> I never get much from Scott. Mind reading. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? Yeah, probably wouldn't tell that it's not. Really? Yeah. That's brilliant. A good meat substitute then. Mm. Good. I'm gonna try now. It's a yes from me. Yeah. Lovely. It's good, isn't it? Nice. So as always, the waiters are incredible here. He's talked us through everything that's on this batter. And these little bad boys are aubergine deep fried in batter with sugar cane honey and I'm so excited for this. You were gonna love that? Yeah. He said it's one of their most popular like tapas on the menu. It's so light. It's sweet, savoury, crispy, amazing. Try it. That's really good isn't it? Very sweet. Like it's almost got like a parsnip. Yes! Very, very nice. Very nice. Would recommend those 100 percent Now Scott's just dived into the carrot fries. Mm, they're really good. Really good? Yeah. Oh, are they crispy? I wanna try. Pretty sweet. Let me try. Go for this one. I didn't expect it to be that light, light and crispy. Mm. Mm. You know? When you roast a carrot and you get that little charred bit on the bottom. Yeah. Kind of like that. And basically he said to us, he wants the vegetarians that eat vegan food 
to come here and get messy and and have eat burgers and enjoy food. Right, have the same experience. Have as the same experience. Me. This is really exciting. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, here is the jackfruit taco. Neither of us have tried jackfruit. A nice flavour, isn't it? Proper Mexican flavours. I actually wouldn't know that there wasn't meat in there. Mm. I'm not missing any meat at all. Right, this one I can see it's got chickpeas, sweet corn, onions, peppers, and it's proper spicy. It's good, right? Nice and spicy. Yeah, it is so good. Very nice. Very nice. Right, yes, is going to try the kebab now. We were told that this was made with sa sa Satan? Satan? Is it not Satan? Satan? I'm not sure. I think it's Satan. I have to ask him in a minute. And it's basically a meat substitute. And do you know, I've never had anything like this. Never tried tofu, but I'm going to try this. This could get messy. I think I can tell it's good by your face. I wouldn't know that that's not me. No. They said it's not a healthy option, but it's a tasty option. Just sucks in flavour. I love that. And the flatbread is really nice. I'm, do you know, I'm so impressed with this food. That's really nice. Now, would you know that that's not me? It's <laughs> <In> a mess. <laughs> Such a mess here. Pakistani, I've had Indian friends here. And they say they that eat hot. spicy every day and they blew their head off. Okay? Wow. It's tasty though. It's got ginger and habanero. Is this going to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Did I know? It, it creeps up on you, doesn't it? Because it yeah. doesn't look like it's going to Okay, let's just do this in little, little bits. So Steve has just brought out some hot sauce. He's told me that the kebab, the tzatziki, hot sauce is the way to go forward. But this hot sauce will just blow your head off. That's how little I've got on there. But I'm up for a challenge, so down the hatch. Oh, steam coming out your ears. <laughs> Just try that. Oh. <laughs> holy, yeah. holy cow. All I, I did was like this. I dipped it in and then put that in Scott's mouth. Oh my God. It's really hot. Oh, that's the hottest sauce I've ever tasted. <laughs> oh, I literally had just a tiny bit. I've got ginger in it though, it's really nice. I think we're done, we've done quite well. Only left a bit of salad and stuff. Do you know what? That was the like most exciting and enjoyable meal I've had in a long time. Yeah, definitely. I didn't miss meat one bit. No. At all. Everything was really tasty, flavorful. Yeah. What we have here is a passion fruit margarita with chili lime and salt. Now this was complimentary, so it's very kind of them. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa! Spicy. That's so sweet and refreshing. And then that's so spicy and salty. It's like my palate is all over the place. Now as the sun is setting, you can hear music, it's piping up. People have come out, enjoying their dinners, drinks. The atmosphere is great. But it would be so much better in a normal year. Well that was the most incredible meal we've had in a long, long time. Yeah, definitely. 100% recommend the hen's teeth as well as gin and fizz. There are so many restaurants and bars at Ben and Martin Plaza, but not just restaurants and bars. There are other businesses as well. Hairdressers, supermarkets, insurance. I don't need to tell you. Come on down to Villa Martin Plaza and see for yourself. We're going to end this here. We've had an incredible night. Yeah, really good. We'll be back to the hen's teeth because especially for the vegan desserts, in particular the creme brulee. And a few of the cocktails sounded good too. Oh yeah. We'll see you soon. Take care. Catch you later. Bye.